Finally, you guys, today's the day I'm moving into my new apartment in Tampa. I know it's been like a month long of being patient, but my apartment is ready to go. I was staying with my grandma in Naples for the last couple weeks just in between moves, but today we're heading up to Tampa and the movers come tomorrow. You can clearly see my car is packed to the brim. So today I'll get a little bit settled in and then tomorrow will be the big day of unpacking everything and I actually have never seen my apartment before in real life. I toured it via FaceTime and also signed a lease over FaceTime. So if you guys watched that apartment hunting video, I went with the last one, but we're gonna head up there right now. It's about a two and a half hour drive and I'll see you guys when we get there. my god this is so freaking nuts this is better than i imagined it to be like i already knew that i was gonna love it but i didn't think i was gonna be oh my god <sighs> i'll give you an empty apartment tour before i start to move but some things in and all of that so right when you walk in, there's this little pantry area and wine area, which is so cute. I love it. And then obviously the kitchen. This is like what sold me on the apartment in the first place. I just love the two-toned kitchen and then the marble countertops and the kitchen sink. Gorgeous. And it actually has a gas stove too, which is so nice. I love that. Good fridge, the floor to ceiling windows. I'm not gonna show you guys my view just for obviously personal privacy but it has a massive balcony too which could have been i think i have to give it a little there we go little shove but it's insane the balcony is massive like i could totally fit a good size like table and chair out here or even like a lounge chair and then there's the view of some water which i'm not going to show you guys because like i said privacy but yeah Here's what it looks like from the window with all the lighting. The lighting in this um, apartment is just so good too, which I love. And then the bedroom has a ceiling fan, floor to ceiling windows. And this is the bathroom. So pretty, I love it. I really like how it has a navy blue cabinetry with the gold hardware. It's like a nice little touch. And then the shower is a walk-in shower. And I didn't even notice this until literally just now but it has a rainfall shower head which is so nice i love that and then the closet good spacious walk-in closet i think maybe not tomorrow but in the next few days i'll definitely have to do a whole day of like organizing my closet because i know it's gonna take me so long but maybe i'll do that in like a separate video or something or over on tiktok for you guys but yeah this is just insane i'm so 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 happy i knew i would love this apartment but i didn't expect it to like exceed my expectations the ceilings are so high it's so gorgeous i can actually cry right now I'm like taking everything out of my car and I'm actually gonna head out to um, Camp Tampa. It's like the workout place and everybody has been recommending it for me to try. So going to a lower body sculpt class tonight. They have so many different styles of workouts, but I was gonna go to one of their circuit classes, but it started at 5.15 and I was not gonna make it in time. So going to lower body sculpt at 5.30 and I'm excited. I love trying new workout classes. It's like one of my favorite little things to do. And if I like it, I definitely will look into getting a membership or something. So I want to join 
some kind of group fitness studio here. Not Orange Theory because I'll be coaching there, but something else for a little community, you know? We're gonna head out right now, do that, and then I think I might get kava tonight for dinner because that sounds really good, like kava or chipotle or something. I'm pretty sure there's one really close to this studio too, which is perfect. I was literally hitting every red light on the way to the workout, so I was late and couldn't get in, but this is what we opted for instead. I think this is the better, better of the two. I'm so hungry, this looks so good. I'll show you guys what I usually get in my kava bowls, which they don't have kava in Minnesota, so anytime that I get a chance to get kava, I always get so excited. So I just did brown rice, chicken, the super greens, some romaine lettuce, and then cucumbers, pickled onions, which are my favorite, olives, and then tomatoes. And then on the side, I usually get my sauces on the side because sometimes it can be just like a sauce overload. So I get the tzatziki, which is already in there, and then red pepper hummus, and then the yogurt dressing for the side, and it's so good. And add some of this like a little dill dressing. Now I remember why I constantly crave this. It's so good. I just got ready for bed. I'm so tired. I also uploaded the apartment hunting video, so very happy I got that out of the way. And now I'm gonna get ready to head it to my beautiful bed. <laughs> Look at that. But tomorrow I'll finally have a mattress and my bed put up and everything, which I think I'm gonna do a similar layout to what I had in my old apartment. My bed here with the nightstands and then my dresser right there. I think that's the plan that will probably be the best layout. I think, I think it's like the same size as what I used to have too. So maybe a little bigger. If I actually get a good night's sleep, I want to try to go to Orange Theory in the morning tomorrow. That'd be great, but I'm going to head to bed and I will see you guys in the morning. All right, I just got ready for my workout this morning. I'm wearing, oh, oh my God, I just realized this is all from Al, but this is one of my favorite cropped sweatshirts. It's so lightweight and super cute, but these are just the, I think they're called the Espresso um, Airlift Leggings and then the Espresso Airlift Bra. I love a good matching set. And then my shoes, I think I'm gonna do, I might wear my own clouds. It depends because if there's a lot of running and I don't like to wear these, but actually we're gonna do my Adidas Ultra Boost because those are way better for running. Yeah, we're just gonna go with these, even though they are dirty, but that's the thing with white shoes. I love white shoes, but they do get so dirty, especially from the rowers at Orange Theory. But I'm really picky about my running shoes. I used to never care, and then I like actually got into working out, and now I'm like a picky, shoe person, running a shoe person specifically. All right, we're gonna head out and go get the workout in. Run work. Walking recovery. So you can get a minute base in there too. So here we go, two minute push, power walkers, incline fiber, greater joggers and runners at speed. About one, 1.2 or more over that base in three, two, one, push pace red. I just finished up Orange Theory this morning. It felt so good. It was definitely a tough workout, but I'm glad I went. And then I just made a pit stop at Trader Joe's to pick up a couple of groceries because I'm gonna make some oats so that I feel satiated and good for the day since it'll be a long day of moving um, and then a frozen dinner for tonight to have. But yeah, I need to shower, get ready for the day, and then We'll chat when the movers are here. I just got ready for the day. Also, I can't wait until there's furniture in here so then it won't be as echoey. But I threw on this bodysuit from Aritzia. I've been wearing this all the time recently. It's like my favorite go-to outfit. It's so comfy. 
And then I'm getting a little bit of work done while I'm just waiting until they give me a call because it's 1.22 right now. So they'll probably get here in about 15 minutes. They typically come relatively early just to make sure everything is situated and ready to go. They're literally the best. I used Roadway Moving Company to move out of my apartment in Fort Lauderdale and then they put all of my stuff in storage and I'm using them again to move all of my stuff from storage to this apartment and it's seriously the best you guys like I don't know what I would have done without them while I'm waiting for them we're gonna finish up doing some work I need to make sure this is connected I'm like already yawning right now and it's only 123 <laughs> probably because I didn't get the best like quality night sleep last night since it was obviously on freaking carpet floor but I will definitely sleep so well tonight because I'll be in my bed for the first time in forever. You know that feeling where you just crave your bed so, so, so much. Like I've been missing my mattress, my cozy bed, everything. about 9 30 the movers left like four hours ago and i've just been kind of unboxing some more things and putting things in their like respective places not really decorating because i want to like mindfully decorate this apartment but just getting things like unpacked and somewhat organized not really organized like particularly just because that would take me way too long and i don't have the energy to do that but i just like do not want my apartment to be a mess so been getting things just like unpacked the kitchen is a complete mess i really just want to like clear off the kitchen tonight um so i'll probably do a little bit more i'm just so 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 hungry so i'm gonna make some dinner even though it's so incredibly late but i feel like once i start unpacking i like can't stop so i'm gonna try to get some more done and ideally just like make my kitchen counter clean because if i wake up to this it's gonna stress me out so um yeah but the living room kind of coming together i honestly have so much more room in this little area than i expected and i'm kind of trying to think of what i should do there um i was gonna get rid of that side table and do like a little desk but i think i like having a side table right there and then i have these in my old apartment they were just stored so i didn't use them because i didn't like how they like looked in my apartment and i ended up not being able to return them so i think i like the look of one of them like right next to this little chair it's like a um little side table but i don't know if that's too much like table going on you know because that chair like can't sit alone it definitely has to have like something next to it so i'll probably take that and put it over there and then use that lamp maybe because i think that lamp would look cute in this room but yeah, also I tried to put together this freaking floor lamp, which literally like gave me blisters on my fingers. It hurt so bad and my hands still hurt from trying to put that together. And now I'm mad because I don't even like it, which sucks, but I don't know. I got it from Target, I think. Or no, 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 I got it from Costco. But yeah, so maybe I can return it actually. I'll have to check, but yeah that light really pissed me off <laughs> anyways i really like my mirror here 
I just don't like all those things. There's so much going on on the wall, but like I can't control any of that, so it's all good. And then my bedroom, I'm gonna make my bed. I'm so happy to sleep in this bed tonight. You guys have no idea. I've been craving it, so. This is my bedroom. It is so much more spacious than my old room. So this will be really fun to decorate. I'm excited for this. Obviously it's very plain right now, nothing going on there. And then the closet, you guys, prepare yourself. It is so freaking stuffed. It's not even funny. I don't know how I'm even going to attack this. Like you can't even walk in there right now. I told the movers, I was like, you don't even have to like hang anything, like just toss it on the ground, honestly. Cause they were hanging up some of the stuff because um, they were like already hung, but yeah. That will be a whole project on its own. So anyways, it got lots of progress. So I'm feeling good about that, but I'm so hungry. I think I'm gonna make a little Trader Joe's frozen dinner. Dinner of champions, we're gonna try this. Whoa. Mmm. It's actually really good. I really like sweet potato noodles. I get them when I get Fresh Kitchen, and they're my favorite. I think Bolet has sweet potato noodles too. I'd rate it like a six out of 10, because if I didn't add Sriracha, it would definitely be like a four. And also, like it didn't have that much flavor. Also, there's just so much noodle and not enough topping. But it's not bad. It's definitely not bad. It just has potential to be like really good, you know? I am so happy right now. I gotta finally sleep in my bed. I've been missing my bed and it is so comfy. Plus all of my sheets are freshly washed, my comforter, everything. So I'm about to have like the best night's sleep ever.